it's a narrow uh, band of forest which uh, uh, lies between two fragments of protected area. So it's very important to allow orangutans, elephants and other wildlife species to move between those two fragments of protected area. Orangutans, for example, have the same biology as uh, very similar to humans and uh, they need to find mates uh, which are not closely related to them. If you have a, a group of orangutans in a small uh, island or forest and they'll end up uh, to be all related, brothers and sisters and cousins, and this will affect the genetic health of the population and inbreeding will, will be a big issue for the population. The Bornean elephant has been recognized as a genetically distinct uh, group uh, from the main elephants. But they are slightly smaller and uh, have uh, small <laughs> differences. But it's very important to keep that population uh, inside. But it's the only place where you can find uh, these uh, Bornean elephants. And Kinabatangan has about 350 of them, and this is a very important population. They need to, to move along the river and traditionally uh, they moved from the estuary to the interior of Borneo following the Kinabatangan River. But now this journey is made really difficult by all the obstacles and plantations and villages and so they have to find a way and split up in, in different smaller groups and have to actually adapt the, the whole social organization. The problem is when they move from one patch of protected forest to the other, uh, they have to go through privately owned lands and there they, some people will grow either well, crops or, or palm and which is very tasty for the elephants and on the way they, they actually feed and, and cause damage to those plantations and human elephant conflicts are on the rise in Kinabatanga at the moment. All this support has been extremely useful and allowed us to, to progress and, and secure this corridor.